Just got back from work. Let the off days begin because I am in much need of it this week. So like I said, just got back from work. I am officially off for my two days. The weather is just lovely as you can see out here. As you can see that sarcasm, I hope. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're just getting ready. Um, well, I got, just got home. But this two days, I'm gonna be focusing on, I'm just gonna move my rabbits. Um, this week, <laughs> sorry. This week we're gonna be focusing on um, sorting out the house a bit more because we've got about a month and a little bit left in this house before we're moving. And we are being, we are moving in with my parents, my in-laws um, for a little bit until our house is ready. There's Starlink. <laughs> if you live rurally, ah, if you live rurally, get Starlink, it's the best. Honestly, it's really good. Um, nice little messy house behind me. Say hi to the house. Yep, very messy. I know, I don't care. We are getting through it. We are getting through it. And yeah, I am, usually when I'm overtired, I get like this, like bleh, and over every, not over everything, but like over, yeah, excited. But um, welcome to the vlog. Yeah, I've already started the vlog, but welcome. <laughs> Hey, good morning. I am out at my usual spot here in uh, the town that's near close to me. I don't know if, I'm pretty sure people will be like able to figure out where I am like really fast or where I the town not close to me is. Um, but for now, I'm just going to keep on saying that just to keep some sort of privacy because you don't know there are people out there. Uh, we are people out there. Um, so yeah, I'm just here catching my thoughts for the day and enjoying the view um i got a new like both hands off free i've got a new um little phone mount because people are bringing out like really like rah, phone mounts that are like stuck to your screen or stuck to your window and you can't really do anything with it you can't once it's there you can't really move it um but i found one that's old school that you like stick and then you flick it on and then it stays and that's the one i'm currently using so currently you guys are like smack them in the middle of my screen which is fine because i prefer that and i can just remove it and wipe off this off the smudges later on so it doesn't bother my husband um so yeah that's quite that's quite good i am uh sitting oh i'm just sitting here and reflecting um and i keep while i was driving i kept on getting like the feeling of routines 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 and how it's good to break a routine sometimes and so I'm going to talk a little bit about that in this little video and we'll just see where it goes because I kind of feel like a really good update video. Um, I'm loving my, sorry, I'm loving my hair at the moment, even though it looks quite, quite frizzy and stuff, but let's just like look at this color. Um, I probably should go for another like balayage soon because this, I haven't balayaged my hair like almost in a year now um, because it's growing out nicely, but yeah. Just a random thought because I'm seeing it now in the viewfinder and I'm like, oh, I like my hair like this. I like the long hair. I've had my hair literally in every single style from short, like shaved off to medium to long. So I know how I look with every haircut. And by far, I have to say, um, long hair, I feel like suits me the best. Um, so with today's weather, it is like cloudy and cold. We are definitely moving towards winter. Um, and I don't know why I do weather updates every time I do a video. I think it's maybe because I want you guys to like be fully immersed in my like um, in my video and the area around me and like know what I'm feeling and like get you into the vibe of what's around me. I'm not sure. I basically just want to share with you guys. So yeah, the video the the weather is pretty um, crappy. I want to say, although I do like this type of weather. I like to dress warm um, and. Yeah, it's it's going to be raining for the next three days, so that's not too bad. We like the rain. It's good for the ground. It's good for the soil, so pretty stoked about that. Um, yeah, I am learning. So, yeah, back to routines. I said, I did not lose my train of thought that much. I was just, like, starting the video. So, back to the thing of routines. I kept on feeling, oh, okay, my routine usually is I come into town, um, and then I go to McDonald's and I get breakfast and I get my coffee, even though we got coffee from another, like in between town to here, me and my hubby got tea, um, coffee this morning because we didn't get coffee at home. 
Um, so usually I drive in, I get my breakfast, I get a juice because I already got coffee. But this morning I just drove past the McDonald's and I was like, no, um, I'm not doing this. I'm not hungry. Um, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not basically not doing that. And that's where the whole routine, 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 like it's good to break your routine sometimes. And I still believe that it's very good to break your routine some days. Um, it's good to do something different because it's just, it shows you what else is out there for you to do. Um, the same with now this morning, I've opened up my iPad and I thought, okay, well, I'm going to also do the verse of the day. So I've got this Bible app. Um, so this is also out of routine because usually I end my videos with a Bible verse um, this last few weeks and now I'm going to also start it, well midway start it because I've already started the video like yesterday, the vlog, um, but now I'm going to tell you a little verse, I'm going to share that with you and then we're going to continue on. So the verse we're reading today, well now, is from John 13 verse 34 and it says, so now I'm giving you a new commitment. Oh, sorry, commandment, not commitment, commandment. Um, love each other just as I have loved you. You should love each other. So emphasis on love each other. And I think that's very important in this day and age right now because people are horrible towards each other. And um, I want to say godless people because like, honestly, people are really, really godless right now. Um, even though I do feel like there's a spiritual warfare going on and people are awaking more. Um, to Jesus, like a, a lot of psychics, a lot of people that I see on TikTok um, who have been into witchcraft like I was um, and psychics and stuff like that, they are coming back to God. They are realizing that what they've done has been very wrong and um, they've actually like cursed people in a way of that, sharing that stuff with them. And um, I'll do another video more about that because I'm still doing my research. I'm still on my spiritual path. Um, well, I'll always be on my spiritual path, but I'm still on my spiritual path of discernment, learning what's wrong, what's right, um, where this all came from for me, and um, just seeing how blind I was. And I'm not judging people but when I say they're blind and they really should not be messing um, God stuff with human stuff, with earthly stuff, with crystals, with plants, um, with herbs. They really should not. That whole thing of, oh, well, God created it, so it should be fine when it comes to herbs and spices and um, uh, crystals or from the earth and blah, blah, blah. People should not be missing with that stuff. And this is something that I've learned recently that um, if you look into the book of Enoch, which I'm still busy with, um, that's how people found out about the medicinal qualities of herbs and spices and um, crystals and stuff like that. I am still busy with it, so I don't want to go too in depth with that. But that's how people found out is by the fallen angels, if you look into the book of Enoch. And yes, I do believe in the book of Enoch. Um, I do believe it should have been in the Bible. And apparently it is, like, there's a few for uh, there's a few books that's still in the, um, if the if the Ethiopian, 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 sorry, Ethiopian, I don't know, it's, uh, um, Ethiopian, it's Ethiopian Bible. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm pronouncing the word wrong. Like I'm saying the word right in my head that the, the Bible I'm talking about, but I can't pronounce it. Uh, Ethiopian, Ethiopian Bible. They still actually have the book of Enoch in their Bible. I'm actually looking into getting a Bible, that Bible, because um, I do collect Bibles, but I am looking into getting that one and they've got a few other forbidden Bibles. Um, so yeah, they still actually do have the book of Enoch in their Bible. And so I do believe in the book of Enoch and it makes a lot more sense. It makes a lot more sense if you read the book of Enoch and if you think about times like now, um, and well, if you think about Noah, people were talking about Noah's Ark. Um, oh, how did Noah build that Ark? And how did he get all the, he had angels. The angels were helping him. Like God sent the angels to help him and God sent the angels to bring up the water from the ground and from the sky. Um, how do you think like, did, did you think it just rained like crazy for how many days? And um, there was no, and that covered the earth? No, the water came from the earth itself. It came up from the rising. Oh, okay. I'm not going to get into this. <laughs> I'm still learning. So I don't want to say stuff that's not factual. I'm still learning. But that's just what I wanted to share with you guys about that. So on that topic, um, and I do not actually know where I was going with this whole conversation because I've jumped to multiple things right now. Um, but I just keep on going because that's how I feel about this. Like I feel God will show me and tell me what I need to be telling people and what I should be talking about. Um, and that's why I just keep on rambling because it just goes, it just goes. And I th feel like that's where the spirit of discernment comes in really well. Um, that's where the spirit of discernment comes in really well because you learn that um, what's right, what's wrong. You can kind of see a situation, what's going on, and that's where you learn it. Um, 
and um, like I said, I'm still on my very much my spiritual journey, and I'm very like I think one big part why I'm very um, I probably shouldn't even actually say spiritual journey because that sounds new age, and I am not new age. I, I'm at all nothing to do with new age. Um, so I probably should my Christian path, my 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 Christian path with God. Um, I'm very lucky in the sense of I've got my cousin um, motivating uh, Karen if you wanted to go check her out um, she is absolutely amazing and um, she actually helped me awaken my 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 Christian side again my spiritual side um, because God actually God has such big plans with her um, she can see angels she gets visions um, and it's quite beautiful because she shares these visions with me um, and how the angels look and it's just it's absolutely stunning so I've got that um, spiritual friend and family member um, that helps me and guides me and prays with me and um, it's just amazing to have that support so that's probably one thing I would say if you are in your Christian journey please find somebody that's like-minded and as spiritual as you because that's the thing like my cousin and I we don't agree on every single thing like yesterday we, we sort of not have any, it's not a disagreement it's just we we had different viewpoints on the thing of abortion um and like a, abortion topic uh, we had kind of like a different viewpoint of it and it's just it's it's good to commu communicate on it and talk about it and um we don't tell each other we don't tell each other oh you are wrong um or oh no no we just tell each other our viewpoints and we go from there and i think that is very good when it comes to spiritual things because you don't have always have to agree with everybody you can disagree with from them and then do your own research um because i do not go on the word of man i go on the word of god and i feel like since my forgiveness thing if you haven't seen it yet i did a video um a few days ago about forgiveness how important it is into forgiveness and this was a quick video this was like a three minute video so i didn't really go into depth into depth and that depth <laughs> i don't really go into depth about it where i um how important it is because if you've got anything ungodly keeping like in you it will keep you from receiving the blessings of god and that is what i've i've had uh, unclean spirit of unforgiveness in me for over a decade and that's scary um, and I didn't even know that I didn't even know that because I could never forgive this person this lady and now I have forgiven her I have completely forgiven her and um, my heart is with so much filled with so much joy and happiness because of that because if I probably see her now I will hug her and I would be so joyous because now I know that this 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 curse this this unknowingly curse that I put on her and her family has been broken and I have and, and I am bro and I am like mother the curse on me is broken the spirit has been chased out the spirit is gone and um so that's just <laughs> that's just like it's it's amazing since i've broken since like the holy spirit has broken that curse and um i've been given the, the ability for to actually forgive and move on my spiritual journey my christian journey um has completely changed where i've got the spirit of discernment i can see like if i'm watching something i can see well that's not right and um, it's not like, oh, this person is telling a lie, whatever. I can just see like something's not right there. Or in any situations now, I can see, okay, this person's not right. And um, I quite like that. Or if I'm reading something or I'm seeing like, you know what I'm, I'm saying with the spirit of discernment. And um, even with other Christians that I'm watching TikToks and stuff and what they say. And I'm like, oh, something feels off with this. Like I finally got that back, which I'm really stoked about. That's really a really good thing to have. Plus I can hear my, my, my voice. I call it my intuition, but it's actually the Holy Spirit that's guiding me where it tells me, Hey, read this Bible passage. Like I literally, like yesterday I got Jeremiah. Um, I think it was Jer yeah, Jeremiah 13, um, verse one to, to nine. Um, where it talks about um, God's wrath, basically, on, like, God was giving wrath to a uh, city or town, whatever you want to call it, and he said what will happen to those, like, who's turned their back on him, um, is basically the message I got from that, and I just got that clearly in my head, so I read it, and I sent it to my cousin, and she's like, she doesn't have that like she can see angels and she gets visions but she doesn't hear like read this bible verse and this is the situation stuff where i actually did and i thought everybody did um and i'm sure there are more people that does but i don't know that this was a special gift that god's given me and which i'm so stoked about and really blessed about um and it's the same with my dreams i get a lot of spiritual dreams i get a lot of dreams from god that tells me um like my warfare is in my brain 
uh, and it's quite cool. It's uh, <laughs> I'm saying it's quite cool, but it's also quite terrifying because God sends me stuff, but also the devil tries to infiltrate me in my mind. I've had multiple situations where um, the devil tries to um, tell me to blast to do blasphemy in my dreams, but God's so good. He tells me this. He warns me, and I actually rebuke the devil in my dreams. Um, you know when you dream. You, if you wake up, you don't dream the same dream again. You just go into a next thing. Well, I've been getting dreams right before I wake up where if I wake up, because I wake up a lot during the night, but like for a few seconds, I'm aware of my situations and I'll sleep on. Um, so I'll be getting a dream. It starts and then I would wake up for something. Something's happening and then I wake up and I go back to sleep and the dream just carries on and it carries on and it carries on. Like three or four times I wake up and it just carries on afterwards. This is the type of dreams that I know that are from God. And, um, or like it's a, it's a warning and I've been getting a lot more dreams like that before, not prophetic dreams, not pro like anything like that, but more personal dreams. When I was a teenager, like 10, 11 years old, I would get prophetic dreams. And, um, like I've seen, like I've, I've done, if I mentioned this before, but I've actually seen the devil. I know how the devil looks, um, or the body that he uses on earth. Um, so I know how he looks and, um, I've also had more other prophetic dreams, but that was when I was a child. I got very scared and um, I kind of asked the Lord to take that away from me because I was just terrified. Like I was getting attacked in my sleep a lot and I built like a brick, like a brick um, wall and in my mind as, a, as a, while I was sleeping, like I was half awake, half asleep when I asked this. So I kind of asked for it to be taken away and I haven't fully received that um, prophetic dreams again, um, even though I've asked for the Lord to break down that barrier. But I know the Lord's protecting me at the moment because I've been getting a lot of dreams. I've been getting a lot of scary, weird dreams, uh, but warnings about my marriage, warnings about my personal life, um, which I'm thankful for to look out for. And um, but nothing prophetic yet. And I hope prophetic is the right word that I'm using, but like prophet, like prophesy type of dreams. Um, so I'm hoping prophetic is the right word. English is not my first language. <laughs> but I've been getting a lot of those dreams. So I'm very thankful for that because I know there is a reason for why I'm getting them. And yeah, I feel like we are in a very, like we've been in spiritual warfare for years now, for decades now. And people keep on saying like the end times are here, the end times are here, which yes and no i feel like yes and no i think we are of course going towards it like yes we're going towards it but um i feel like we are the veil is being lifted between um the good and the bad i feel like people are starting to see that that like the spiritual side of it like the the, the demonic um the angel sides and stuff like that people are being much more aware of it people who know there's a god but don't believe in him are starting to see like hey um the war for our souls are there i think pretty soon they'll, be, they'll still be atheists but i'll pretty i'll be i'm pretty sure like pretty soon people will be like they're choosing not they know there's a god but they're choosing not to believe in him instead of they don't believe there's a god if you know what i'm saying because spiritual stuff are coming up like like mad like crazy now um which is it's a good thing because people need to know that there's a god and people need to know that there's a holy spirit and um i think i think a lot more spiritual stuff is still going to start coming out now i think there's a lot more um warfare coming out not like the physical warfare like russian and, and the ukraine but the spiritual one the the, the i think that one's going to be coming and it's already started but more and more, more people are going to be aware of it um, which is a good thing which is a good thing because it's been going on um and in in like the backseat of world and the backseat of life it's been going on but now it's going to start being come forward um and people should be prepared um, people should be prepared and Christians should know that the authority that they hold um, when they walk with Christ the authority that you have um, and people should be aware of it so yeah I've <laughs> I've realized I've been rambling on for 17 minutes this is probably gonna be the whole vlog no I'm just kidding I won't be uh, hopefully not <laughs> we'll put some other stuff in here for you guys as well I am just really enjoying this setup like the setup is making it so much easier for me to talk and ramble on for you guys um, so yeah and man i just want to say that i just want you guys to know that god loves you so much like even even if you don't know god and even if you know don't know like know of the holy spirit and jesus and you're not a christian um just know that god loves you so much like the the the, the level of love that he has for you is is undeniable it's unconditional it's reckless love um that he just he 
he just wants you you're his child like uh, he he just he loves you so much and everything that he's done for you and he's just right there like if you want to take his hand if you want to know that what who is god if you just want to be like hey i accept god in my life i accept i accept him to take over my life and be with me he is there like there's no fancy smanchy sp um, spell that you need to cast or some voodoo hoodoo whatever you want to call it there's nothing like no herbs that you need to throw into a pot there's no it's nothing writing down that you need to do you can literally just go and be like hey lord I want you in my life. I want, I'm, I'm making you my savior and I want you to guide me through my life. And I accept you. And you have to say this. I accept you, Jesus Christ, as my Lord and savior. Amen. And God will be filling into your heart. God will be there. God will open up. God will tear down that, that blindness veil that's in front of you and he will step through and he will be with you and you will get your own personal angel that's with you all the time your your holy spirit will be with you all the time and all you have to do is just say yes lord and i i really wish people would knew how simple it was to do that because it is like god's made it so simple you don't have to jump through any hoops you don't have to jump and 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 do crazy stuff to accept him you can just say yes lord and he will be there for you. That's that simple. And yes, the road afterwards might not be as easy for you because the devil's going to try and win you back. But you're going to get to a point where you're so strong and where you're so joyful in being with Christ that it's not going to matter. Like you are, you are going to know. Once you know that God's never, once you've accepted God, God will never leave you. You will get through everything. Even with the devil attacking you, you've got your own angel. You've got your, like, right here i've got like my own personal angel that fights this the battles that i can't see he fights for me and once you accept god you will have that too like it's just it's amazing it's i'm getting emotional right now and it's just it's amazing like guys oh my gosh it's just thank you jesus thank you like wow um, I'm going to go now before i start crying cuz i don't want to be one of those people that cry on camera um but yeah, I'm going to go and carry on with my day now because I'm just I'm getting chills. I'm going to do some praise and worship now. I will talk to you guys in the next clip. Okay. So I am back from my shopping and from my in-town day. Did not do any food shopping though. Um, this is where I keep my, my handbags currently. <laughs> And yeah, some winter clothes. I'm going to go through this again and throw away more stuff. Um, since I did, I'm having a change of style. Um, I feel like the seasons change, so does people. And their styles and stuff and what they like and what they don't like. And currently my style has changed again. I'm liking more of a, a country style, like a country living, uh, UK country style type of clothes. So one of my favorite people who watch is Lydia and Melon and Ali Gordon and so I really love their style even though it's it's luxurious and it's a bit expensive like they've got the money so they can um but I am quite loving that style and the country chic basically so that's what I'm going to be trying moving my style towards a bit more country chic um since that is a style that I really love yeah went and bought some things today got a lot of stuff at the op shop Got a Michael Kors bag at the op shop for 25 bucks, so I'm quite stoked about that. That's always a win. Um, but yeah, now I'm just going to get everything into the wash, wash the stuff before I wear it. And then I'm going to start packing away my box on that side and on that side. Um, I kept on saying I'm going to sort out my spirit room, um, but it's still a mess. It's, yeah, it's sorted, but it's chaotically sorted. And... I'm going to start packing my stuff away because we are getting closer to the move anyway. Still a month away, more than a month away, but um, yeah, we need to get it sorted. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. So this is what I ended up yesterday with. These clothes going to donation, um, my handbags, and this is what it's looking like. I need to get another box for those ones because they're coming with me. Yeah, big difference. <laughs> and now if you go to the storage room, because this is where we're packing everything we're taking with us. Um, this is what it's looking at. Yeah. And those are all my books in six containers. 
basically seven if you count the other ones with, but this is the setup. I'm sitting here in my car at a charging station, a fast charger. I'm like 20, I don't know, maybe 20 kilometers away from home. No, less, less, I would say less actually. But they've got a fast charger here and I might need to zip out of home later on. So the car might not be fully charged by then. Um, but other than that, I really do love this car. Like if, if you can go electrical, go electrical. It's very, very nice. And um, it is kind of beneficial as well um paying a lot less in fuel and yeah like charging my car at the first fast charger it's got maybe gonna cost me like five to five to ten dollars and that's from like 20 percent till uh 95 percent so it's really not that bad for me for me let's just claim that um yeah so probably the first the previous video she will see that um it's been quite muggy and rainy here right now it's not looking too bad it's kind of clearing up but I do see the clouds are moving in really fast so we might get a bit more um, rain today we are supposed to get some rain tomorrow the ground does need it but I feel like we are heading into our winter or winter time oh a very beautiful Tesla is parked right next to me I'm here in my Nissan Leaf which I love but oh this red Tesla is beautiful with a white interior nice choice very nice choice yeah I am just quickly going through my um, iPad. Love this thing, carry it with me all the time now. I used to do that with um, with my laptop, but it's just, it's even though the laptop's really small, it's easy to do, it does get a bit heavy and a bit like too big to carry around. Because um, I'm doing this new thing now where I'm gonna have two bags with me. Uh, one stays in the car and the other one's my handbag. And so the bag that's with me got like medical stuff in it, like stuff that I might not need every day, but it will be nice to have in an emergency. And um, so that's what I'm doing now. I've got like a second bag and then I've got my handbag. Um, I think this is like a, a dupe um, uh, Michael Kors because it does say Michael Kors, if you can see in the book, like it does say that. But I haven't seen any, any handbags like this of his, so I could be wrong. Um, I just want to see what this thing's doing. Okay, it's missing about. But, um, yeah, I don't care. I really like the bag. It's a, it's a bit of a statement piece. So I do quite like it. Um, I found some good stuff in op shops today again. But like I was saying, it was just for this so I can put it away. Now I quickly want to show you guys the other things that I bought. Where's my phone? I'm recording on my phone. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> See, that's the ultimate blonde moment, even though I'm not blonde. Like, you know, this undercover blonde. Yeah, that's, that's, the <laughs> that's me. Hey, there's my phone. I was looking for it. There it is. You're recording on it, Mabel. Anyway, um, carry on. I want to show you guys this bag that I bought. Um, there you go. It's so nice. The lady did must not know how to wrap it. I had like a beautiful scarf wrapped around it because um, I do like having scarves around like around handbags. I do like having scarves. It makes it looks a bit sweet, um, something like that. But I just want to fix this because she put it the wrong way around. It this is kind of like um, a Hermes dupe, I want to say. Because if you look like that, let me just zoom in. I love Hermes handbags. Don't think I'm going to be owning one anytime soon, um, but I do love them. And so, yeah, this is kind of like my Hermes dupe, I want to say. Definitely not even closely resembles. Well, it resembles this part, resembles um, Hermes to me. So that's why I kind of do like it. And then the little scarf. I bought like three other scarves to pair it with, but I think this is gonna be like my day-to-day -day handbag now. Um, I absolutely just, I love it. So yeah, 
quick little update on that. I was quite excited to show the handbag because it's so pretty. I saw it yesterday when I went and I bought the other one um, at this op shop. It's a very, very nice op shop in the town. Um, they The people take like a lot of pride in how they um, style it out and how they show it to people. They like everything's color coordinated um, and it's just, it's such a beautiful little shop. So yeah, I love supporting them and I found all two beautiful handbags there. So that's always a win. I've got a little bin back there. So if you were wondering like, why is she doing that? I've got a bin back there. That's why. I think I still got quite a long time here. Um, not quite a long, but like at least 10 to 20 minutes. So I think I'm going to actually go grab a quick drink and yeah, then I'll be back out here and grab the car and go home. I've bought a little brittle nose, um, golden brittle nose. I'll show them to you guys after this one once I'm home um, to join my other brittle nose and my beta fish. Um, yeah, it's Harry. Well, it used to, his names used to be Kratos, but I can't remember the son's name, so I've changed it. Now it's Harry, Hermione, and Ron. So Harry will be the better fish, and then this one will be Hermione, the golden uh, brittle nose, and then the other normal brittle nose will be Ron. Um, I'm a huge fan of Harry Potter, so <laughs> ironically. Um, my husband and I as well. So yeah, bought this belt to go along. Don't know how much it costs though, because I just took it out of the pile. Um, and yeah, it will be like a nice little round the waist, like up waist dresses. I think it will be perfect for that. Um, what else can I tell you guys? I think this, this vlog is already very, very long uh, with yesterday's um, talk that I had with, with all of you. And yeah, I'm probably just going to finish this up and then head home. See you later. So this is my current little fish setup. That's Hermione. Let's see if it will zoom on her. <laughs> Don't know, it could be a boy. I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl, but anyway, yeah. Golden bristle nose, and then I don't know where Ron is. Ron was out and about earlier. Um, let's see if we can find him. He's probably just hiding, but there's Harry. There's my big boy. Ron is probably in there or in there, his two favorite spots, but probably once he's nice, got a good friend, he'll come out and play. Okay, hopefully the angle is not too distracting, a little bit of a tilt in there, um, but we'll just go with it. So I think it's about time we end off this week's vlog, and it's been a long, it's, it's a long one, as you can see, but well needed to hear. And we're ending it off as we usually do with Bible scripture. We're going to be reading from Psalm 9, um, and we'll just read a couple of verses through there. So it's called the celebration of God's justice. I will thank the Lord with all my heart. I will declare all your wondrous works. I will rejoice and boast about you. I will sing about your name most high. When my enemies retreat, they stumble and perish before you. For you have upheld my, my just cause. You are seated on your throne as a righteous judge. You have rebuked the nations. You have destroyed the wicked. You have erased their name before, forever and ever. The enemy has come to eternal ruin. You have uprooted the cities and the very memory of them have perished. Powerful stuff. I actually read a little bit more than I was planning to read there. But powerful stuff. And I think it's very relevant in um, today's day and age with everything that's going on um yeah so take what you need from that i know i will be taking what i need from that um just another promise that's god's that's god's made for us and um yeah quite beautiful quite prophetic <laughs> i hope you guys have a wonderful week and may you stay blessed be blessed and i will see you in my next video if you like this type of content please like and subscribe Comment down below if you've got something that you want to tell me or um, if you want to advise me on something or give me some scriptures to read. That would be awesome. And thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.